is above the law. No one is above the law. No one is above the law. No one is above the law. Incarcerate. Incarcerate. Bible. I see you. I told you I'm Elijah the prophet. The apocalypse is playing out. I know exactly what I'm talking about. President Donald Trump left the campaign trail on Friday and appeared in federal court in Manhattan to listen to his attorneys argue to overturn a verdict that found him liable for sexual abuse. Trump did not need to be in the courtroom, but he has expressed regret that he did not appear at the original trial in 2023. Trump's lawyers argue that evidence in the trial was improper and that the verdict should be thrown out. Attorneys for his accuser, E. Jean Carroll, argue the evidence was proper and the verdict should stand. Trump did not acknowledge his accuser when she sat in the courtroom, but he walked in front of her as he took his seat on Friday. He sat quietly, alone, conferred briefly with his lawyers, and shook his head a few times as his accuser's lawyer described his behavior and said that he would pounce on women. Trump then left court, and he is expected to return to the campaign trail later today. So think of how the impracticality of this. I'm famous. I'm in a plane. People are coming into the plane. And I'm looking at a woman, and I grab her, and I start kissing her and making out with her. What are the chances of that happening? What are the chances? And frankly, I know you're going to say it's a terrible thing to say, but it couldn't have happened. It didn't happen. And she would not have been the chosen one. She would not have been the chosen one. She has gone around for years saying the story. Everywhere I go, she says this story. And it's a total lie. Now, I assume she'll sue me now for defamation, like I got sued by E. Jean Carroll. But this is a disgraceful case, and disgraceful in particular because it's about a former president of the United States who is now leading in the polls to be the president again. But she made up a story, it fabricated 100 percent, that I attacked her at Bergdorf Goodman. You know, it's very interesting. I don't think they were allowed to use this either. Her favorite show is Law and & Order. And there's an almost exact story as her story in Law and Order about being attacked in the dressing room of a department store. I don't know if they use the name of the store, but that's her favorite show, Law and Order. She said that. It's a made up, fabricated story by somebody 
I think initially just looking to promote a book. And when they called me, I denied the story. I got sued essentially for defamation because I'm denying a story where I'm right. I should be suing her for defamation. But it was a beautiful story. You would, everybody would love to have that marriage. She said the nicest things about me, about Milani. You have the story. I mean, you can read the story. It's great. Please. No more questions. If you want to take pictures, great, but please use my best angle. <laughs> you want this way, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This way, please. You want this way, please? Hey, Jane, can't help.